Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I was talking to some fellows the other day about our upcoming trip to the uh, Tri-State Gas Engine Show in Portland, Indiana. And the conversation, part of the conversation was, do we need to bring an extra coil or an extra battery or what have you? So, uh, I wanted, just wanted to share this. This is what I call a portable coil setup. Um, so remember that there's two types of coil. There's high tension and low tension, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. But these are just a couple boxes that I got, and I wanted to show you the different designs and, and how I uh, wire them up. And uh, you, maybe you could build yourself one too. These are handy because if you got an engine that won't fire, maybe your coil is bad. Um, you can always bring this out and um, you know and use it to run your engine in a in a situation. And it's also handy to test whether your coil is coil that you have maybe in your engine is is bad. So um, I built this box. It was um, it was a it was a yard sale find actually. Um, it was just a wooden box that I picked up and kind of modified it. So what I did on this one, if you want to do one of your own, um, is I kind of glued these things in here to keep stuff from rattling around. And I'm going to grab my battery here. So we put a battery in here. The way that I, um, the way that I hook them up is I, I go... I go red into the coil, and then out of the coil um, to this stub here. By the way, these are these are parts off of an old Model T coil box. Uh, in here is um, the bolts that come with the Model T coil box, and these are the ones that um, you put in. So I come out of the battery. On the hot side into the coil, the electricity goes around and it comes out to this top part here. And then I do the ground here. Sorry, I was trying to hook this up. Ground there. So when you have your uh, trusty set of wires and I go ahead and buy a set of wires and just keep them in the box that way I don't have to fuss around and try to find them you know at some future date um, you can pick the you can pick these long sets of wires up at the at the um, flea market or at the swap meet or whatever so I just follow the um, I just follow the color around. So this top one is going to be my red. And I hook that on like that. And the bottom one is my black ground. It really doesn't matter just as long as you're you're making a um, you're making a circuit, making a loop. So I got I mounted up this igniter in my um, in my in my bench so I came I come here with my alligator clips to that and then uh, you can see where the, the you can see the point that the points are closed so when the points are closed and you have this coming to the top you're gonna get you can get a spark because it's 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 completing a circuit So when you trip the igniter, open the points up, you should see a little bit of a spark there. So that, um, that's how I wired it up. That's how I wired mine up. It's easier for me to, personally to remember that the red goes through the coil and then to the top into the, uh, into the igniter and then, um, and then the ground. Some people ground them you know, in here somewhere, or you may have a bolt on your motor or what have you. 
So this one I set up. Some people like to put switches on them, which is what I have in this other box. I set it up with an alligator clip on the top so you can just connect it. Um, so that's that design. It's kind of simple. Um, it's easy. It's it's light. Um, you know, put your, get your one with a handle on the top where you can carry it around. The second design is I actually bought this one at an auction, um, and it works just as well. This one has a nice switch on it right here. Um, and the way these wires work is you, sorry, I'm trying to do all this one handed. I got these wires here and you hook it up to the behind the thumb nuts like that. And you, the way this design works is if you, um, you can go and connect the other ends of your wire, the alligator clips here to your igniter, but until you throw the switch, um, it's not going to be hot. So the way this one was wired up is um, kind of the same way. Um, the hot comes into the coil and then goes out to here and then the ground, this is the ground, goes to uh, the battery and then the wire from the battery goes to the battery that's here so this would be your hot but it doesn't it doesn't really matter just as long as you're completing on a low tension system you're cl completing that that loop or that circuit so what you're trying to accomplish is that when these points are closed like this okay and then they when they open up you get that you get that spark because here you have a you have a circuit when everything's connected and that's why it was sparking earlier. But when you open this up, it, that spark wants to jump over, and that's what ignites your fuel. So I, I would. Uh, the point of this is that um, it's a pretty handy thing to carry a, a box uh, with you, and um, in case your engine has a bad coil, or you know something happens, you got a backup, and it's easy to store. You don't have to have 15 of them. Uh, one will do and there's a couple different ways and there's plenty of YouTube channels out there that have got a lot of different ways to make this this is what I just happen to have uh, you can make one with an ice switch if that's your if that's your thing and one without um, the alligator clip thing works really good the other thing I would say is um, you know a lot of times if you have a box mounted on the front of your engine something like this where you have a, a permanent coil or permanent permanent box um, set up, and you know maybe your coil goes bad or something you know something happens. These are most of the time you would well the way I do it is I set them on the ground and then run my wires up to the box and um, or to the engine to the igniter, and um, so you got to make sure you don't want it underneath your feet. Try to keep the box as small as you can. Um, and get the long as long as the longer wires that you can. The way you can you can get it the box out from underneath your feet if you're trying to work on the engine or crank the engine up, and um, you're not kicking over it and, and what have you. So whether you want to go with the switch scenario, use the alligator clip, both have the switch mounted on the top or on the side in the front. It, it doesn't matter. Just get whatever works for you. And get yourself a backup because there probably will come a day when something uh, goes goes wrong or needs some attention and uh, you'll be glad you had it okay um, this is a low tension setup we'll come back here uh, pretty soon and i'll show you a high tension box that i made okay thanks everybody bye-bye